Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSE ICT Specimen Paper 3 for the year 2023. I'll be doing the spreadsheet task in this video. I have already done the web page task and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So we'll be starting with task 3, the spreadsheet. You are going to prepare an invoice using a spreadsheet for Tavera Digital Storage. This company makes and sells storage devices. All prices must be in euros with two decimal places. Make sure you use efficient formulae. Open and examine the files invoice.csv and ssd.csv in the spreadsheet package. So let us open those files, invoice and ssd. Save invoice.csv as a spreadsheet with the file name invoice followed by your center number, candidate number. So let's save this. Save as inside your folder. It should be saved with your center number and candidate number. and save it as a Excel workbook. Merge the cells A1 to F1. A1 to F1, you can select the cells, merge and center. Format the top of the spreadsheet to look like this. Let us give the size as 18 point. Nothing else to change here. Place your name, center number and candidate number left aligned in the footer. So insert. header and footer. In the footer, your name and details must be left aligned. Let's come back to the normal view. Go to view normal. Place functions in cell C9 to E9 to look up the model capacity and unit price of each item using the product code for the lookup value and the external file specification ssd.csv for the array. So we need to look up the model capacity and unit price using the product code. From this file, from ssd.csv. Make sure that if no data is entered in the product column, then nothing is displayed in cells C9 to E9. So let us start with model. So model has to be looked up using the product code. So I will use a VLOOKUP function. Click on FX so that you get the 
formats the lookup value is the product code table array table array is the file which is given here and we need to look up the model model is in the fourth column so the column index number will be 4 and the range lookup will be 0 now you can give ok now you can see na or not available error is shown because nothing is entered in the product code so that's what they have told you if nothing is entered then nothing must be displayed no error message must be displayed for that we have to use a if function so I'll just modify this equals to if if the product code equals if it is empty empty means empty cells are specified by two double inverted commas if it is empty then nothing must be displayed that means it must be empty only otherwise we will look up the value so the format of if formula is condition true value and then false value so if it is empty then empty cell has to be displayed that's why here double inverted commas are given otherwise we have to look up the value now you can see here nothing is displayed if you enter any product code then only the model will be displayed so let's check whether the formula is working let us enter ssd1 here so when you enter the product code you can see the model is displayed now same way we have to insert the formula for capacity and unit price So we can replicate this formula but only the column index will change so let's make this a9 because product code is used for all capacity and unit price let's just make this absolute select a9 and make it absolute by adding the dollar key and also this lookup value will be absolute now let us replicate this for capacity and unit price you will get the same value because we have given the column index number 4 only here for both so capacity is in the third column and unit price is in the second column so let us change that capacity is in the third column so the column index I'll change to 3 so that the capacity will be shown and the unit price is in second column so the column index I'll change to 2 so this is the same formula and you can also check if nothing is entered nothing will be displayed in all these three cells so the formula is done place in cell f9 a formula to multiply the number of items by the unit price make sure that if no data is entered in the number of items column then nothing is displayed in cell f9 so similar formula we have to enter so price is obtained by multiplying number of items with unit price and same way if nothing is entered in number of items nothing must be displayed here so let's give the formula equals if if this is empty then the cell must be empty so let us give double inverted commas otherwise we have to multiply number of items multiplied by unit price So this is the formula next replicate the formula entered in steps 10 and 11 for rows 10 to 19 in step 10 we had entered the formula for model capacity and unit price and in step 11 for the total price 
So we have to replicate this formula. So this is the formula for model. If you replicate this we had made absolute so this will remain same because when you replicate this should become a10 and here also the lookup value must become a10. So we have to change this here. We know that the column is same but only the rows should change. So let us remove the dollar sign from here for the rows so that the column remains the same only the row will change. So let us replicate it till 19. Same way, just remove the dollar sign for the row here. Now you have to replicate it till 19. This one also replicate till 19. The price is fine. We can just replicate it. Place in cell F21 a function to calculate the total of the price column. F21 here, total of the price column, we have to use a sum function. Sum of all the values from row 10 to 19. Apply appropriate formatting to all cells in rows 9 to 21. So wherever price is shown, we have to set it as euros with two decimal place as given in the beginning. So let's change and also this value. So right click format cells set it to currency and we have to set to euro with two decimal place give ok next print your spreadsheet showing the formulae make sure it is in landscape orientation the row and column headings are displayed grid lines are displayed and all the contents are fully visible. So first let us make this landscape. Go to the page layout, orientation, landscape. Now let's display the formula. Go to formulas, show formulas. So all the formula will be displayed. Let us make sure all the contents are visible. Click here, double click so that everything is visible properly. Now when you are printing, in the print option, go to the page setup. On sheet, we have to show the row and column headings and the grid lines must be displayed. So now you can see the formula is being displayed here. We can adjust the margins so that the maximum cells are fit here. They did not ask you to fit on one page wide so this is fine. You can just show like this. But just make sure the row and column headings and the grid lines are displayed. Enter the address as shown and format it like this. Let us go back to the page and remove the formula. Again adjust according to the width of the columns.
now we have to enter the address as shown here Kavera technology solutions So the data is centered. Now we have to enter these product codes and number of items into the invoice. So the product code is SSD 18 and SSD 34. The number of items 1 and Make sure everything is visible. Save your spreadsheet. Print the entire spreadsheet showing the values. Make sure print out fits on a single page. Contents of all cells are fully visible. Grid lines are not displayed. Row and column headings are not displayed. So when you are printing, go to file, print. We can make this portrait orientation no need to show the grid lines and row and column so remove the grid lines and row and column headings give ok so this is the required data Task 4 is printing the evidence document, the evidence document which we had saved earlier. This has to be printed. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. You can find the link for the web page task in the description. Please do check it out. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you can be aware of the upcoming videos. Thank you for now.